will get baptized. Baptism. Have you been sitting in our worship services and seen someone baptized? Maybe a friend, maybe a family member? We brought them right up here to this water and you saw someone dip them under the water and bring them back up. What is that all about? Baptism is kind of a strange looking thing if you don't know about it, but in God's word, it tells us about baptism. Baptism is one of two ordinances. Now that's a big fancy word for saying things that Jesus told us to do. He ordered them to be done. He commanded us to do. So baptism is for believers, people who have trusted Jesus as their Lord and Savior. Baptism only is significant and meaningful for people who have trusted Jesus. And baptism is going under the water and back up, being immersed. That's a big fancy word for being dumped all the way under and brought up. But why do we do it? Because we're being like Jesus. Jesus was baptized. Jesus tells us to be baptized even when you look at his last command to us. He says, go make disciples of all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. Jesus told us to be baptized and it's a way of identifying with him, of, of telling other people, I belong to Jesus. Look at this, this is a wedding band. Looking at this wedding band, you probably have a hunch that I'm married. And if you guessed that, you'd be right. But this wedding band doesn't make me married. It doesn't change whether or not I have a wife. But it is a way to tell you that I have a wife, most likely, and I do. But it's a symbol. It's a powerful symbol that tells you something. Well, baptism is a lot like that. It's a powerful symbol that lets you tell other people about what Jesus has done in your heart. It's a picture. We are being like him in his death, going under the water, and burial, going down and resurrection coming back. So we are a picture of him. It's a testimony of what he's done in our lives. Now baptism, it doesn't save us. It doesn't make us a Christian. It doesn't wash away our sins. It doesn't give us the Holy Spirit. It doesn't really do anything except for get us wet. And usually it's warm. Not always, but most of the time it's pretty warm and it's pleasant. But it gets us wet. It doesn't change anything about us, but it's our way of saying, I belong to Jesus. Jesus has saved me. Jesus has done a work in my life. And what people see in your death, burial, and resurrection in that picture, in that imaginary way of showing others what you've done, you're saying, I belong to Jesus. What a special picture. What a special way to show others what's happened in your life. And when you're sitting in the pew and you're seeing that happen, it's a great chance for you to celebrate, to be excited about what God has done in that friend's life. And you get a chance to pray for them and to celebrate with them. That is so special. Now, I have a question for you. How many people do you think have been baptized at Germantown Baptist Church in the past 10 years? Maybe 200,000? 5,000. Those are some pretty good guesses, but let me tell you, there have been 301 people who have been baptized in the past 10 years here. What an amazing testimony of God's work in people's lives. 